Hi, I'm Chelsea, and today I'm going to demonstrate how we can use the substitution technique to evaluate more complicated integrals. So, to begin, let's look at the integral I've chosen um, as an example. Uh, so, in this integral, we have 3 times the natural log of x all over x. So, when we use um, substitution, more specifically sometimes called u substitution, what we're doing is choosing a piece of this integrand, so the function inside the integral sign in the dx, and we're going to let that, um, we're going to call that function u. We'll then take the derivative of u, and oftentimes what will happen is we'll find um, that the rest that is left in the integrand actually gets dissolved into our du. So, um, when you go to you pick your u, um, sometimes it is clear what will probably give you your best result. Sometimes, though, you may need to go back and choose a different u, and that is okay to try it multiple times. Um, in this case, um, I am going to choose my u, and I'm going to let that be this natural log of x. Okay. Once we have done that, what we're going to do is take the derivative of this function, and on the left side we get du, and on the right side we'll get 1 over x, so the derivative of the natural log of x times dx. Okay, this works out really nicely because this 1 over x is actually in our problem. If I rewrite the integral a little bit, I'll bring this constant outside, which we can do, just a property of integration, um, and then we're left with 1 over x natural log of x and that dx. So here, here, those two pieces are actually right here in our du, which will allow us to substitute the um, du right into our integral. And then of course our u is this natural log of x. So doing the substitution, we'll get 3 times the integral of u du. We know the antiderivative of um, u. And using that reverse power rule will be 3 u squared all over 2 and plus c uh, because this is an indefinite integral we can't forget our constant and then our last step once we've gotten to this point so all the calculus is done here the integration is done all we need to do is bring our x's back into the formula so wherever we have a u we're going to substitute back in this natural log of x so in this case, we'll have 3 halves times quantity natural log of, of x quantity squared plus c. And there's our final answer. Um, it is always nice when, when we choose this u, notice how our function nicely, um, the du then took in the rest of what was in our in our integrand. Sometimes it does not happen that way and we have to go back. If we had chosen 1 over x, we'd still have to worry about that natural log of x to take care of when we went to put our u back in. Um, but in this case, if you choose the right function, uh, it can work out very nicely. And that's it. For more information, please visit our website at www.sandersontestprep.com. The link is in the description box below. Thank you.